What's up you guys, Ethers Mystical Child here, coming to you with a pick a card, hope all is well with you guys, and when you see this reading, I hopefully, I hopefully, hopefully that is useful to you, whether you're looking at it for entertainment, gossip, the past your time, for truth, for confirmation of what you believe, hopefully you could get it from this reading. Now, I've done this reading already, power one was done, and I was in the middle of doing power two, almost done, I looked up at the camera, and it wasn't filming. It said I had to erase all type of storage, which I did already. So, whatever. But I'm not doing PAL 2 over, so this is where we are. So, take what apply. Leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And shout out to you guys, my subscribers new old, for coming through, holding the box, building the channel. And, yeah. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, the title today is How Do People View You? So for power one, this would be the deck. And I'm going to go from power two, which is what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to go to power one. Then I'm going to go to power three, which is going to be a little confusing. You don't have to worry about it. Just click on your timestamp or whatever power you, you pick. So for the power that I'm doing right now, this is power two. This is the deck for power two. And then for power three, this is the deck for power three. So you have to be able to be able to... You know, go with the flow. I could easily get up tight, but I'm not going to get up tight. So, pick your pal, pal one, two, and three, and I'll see you in pal. It's going to be two. I'll start pal two first, being that this is the pal. And then I will do, it's going to be, in a timestamp, it's going to be two, three, and then one. So, this is why. So, I'll see you in pal two. So, pal two, if you pick this deck, this is your reading. And for anybody who didn't go to the intro and feel like this is out of sync and confusion, go to go to the intro. You'll see what happened Why I'm doing it like this. So, Pal 2, shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully, when you see this reading, it will be useful to you. And if you're here for drama, gossip, confirmation of what you think is happening already, your intuition, hopefully you could get it from this. Um... Take what apply, leave the rest, and yeah, if you're a visitor, welcome, returning visitors, welcome back. I did say shout out to my subscribers, no, all right? Big up to you guys. I hope I did. Hold on for a second. Okay, pal two. I gotta strap up my boots because what just happened, so I gotta... Now, first card out is eye candy, so how people view you as as eye candy, somebody very pretty, somebody that's very charming, somebody that's very graceful, somebody that's very easy on the eye. You guys like to wear flowers in your hair for some of you, like a headband in particular of daisies, baby breaths, roses. You like to make headbands out of flowers and leaves. So yeah, people think that's very like hobo of you. Some of you have a bohemian or hobo type of vibe. Now, the flip side of that, because this is what the card is really about, it says, beauty fades. Choose someone for their inner beauty and personality. So people look at you, guys, for some of you in this pal, as shallow. You look, you look at people and you go for people who, for their looks. You don't go for their personality. Sometimes when you do this, this bites you in the ass. Some of you have pretty privilege as well. Some of you have a, um, have dewy skin, whether you're male or female. You just have nice, dewy skin. It looks like you glow. Now, if you're an older person, not just because you're young, if you're an older person, people talk about, um, if you're up in age now, if you're like a, a senior or elder, people view you as somebody that was very pretty in your, um, in your former years, and you still nice looking. You have aged well. You have a lot of wisdom as well. Some of you, people view you as looking like your grandmother. If you, um, if you're a female, obviously. Yeah, they look, they think that you look like your ancestors. Now what came out with this card is unlovable. And with the unlovable energy, um, 
with the unlovable energy it says practice radical self-acceptance and love yourself with all your flaws so some of you really think that you don't know yourself and you don't have self-love you need to look within yourself and it's kind of fitting that it came off with choose people for their inner beauty and their personality it's like you don't love yourself you talk negative to yourself some of you have um, natural hair you just let your hair go free and natural some of you like to be in nature a lot if you're a female you're very pretty and you're very um people view you as somebody that's very natural somebody that is earthy like you could be an earth sign but you're very earthy it comes across like you love yourself you present yourself like you love yourself but you don't for some people you don't accept your flaws. Me personally, I accept all my flaws. I'm not perfect, of course. No, it probably came across like I'm perfect. No, I'm far from perfect. But I accept my flaws, good or bad, because it makes me who I am today. So if you don't accept your flaws, you should accept your flaws. Start accepting your flaws. And when you accept your flaws, people can't use things, can't have things, hold things over your head. Like they can't hold things because you accept who you are wholeheartedly. That's a message for somebody because in the first reading, that message definitely didn't come out. That download did not come out. So it says the Rose of Swords. Some of you are really um, romantic. You like flowers a lot. You collect peonies as well. You just like flowers. You're very romantic. You're very light. You have a light, flowy energy to you. So if you have that energy where you don't love yourself and you don't accept your flaws and stuff like that, and um, people don't like to hear that. And if you hear me keep saying it, you get aggravated. That's getting you aggravated for a reason. There's something you need to heal there. And you should heal it because this energy, the way it comes across is that you don't have these issues. So you really need to heal them because you come across like a pleasant person, a nice energy and all of that. So it'd be, it sucks if you are suffering with these internally. I'm going to get off of that. So, um, some of you are clear thinking, some of you could be an air sign or you can be a, a fire sign. You walk around and tell the truth. You give people revelations as well. Some of you in this pal could help people that, um, don't feel too good about themselves. You can like really heal them, help heal them. So some of you in this pal are healers. It's not a lot of you guys, but some of you, small portion of you guys are healers. Um, yeah, and you protect your love as well. You, you are forced to be reckoned with. You're very powerful. You're a very powerful individual. What came out was, um, releasing and rejection. Let's see, wow. These cards came out together. So, in Power 1, when I originally did it, all the cards came, came out in twos. So I gave them a message. Some of these cards came out in piles, uh, I mean, in clumps of twos. So some of you could be born in February. Some of you could be looked at somebody that loves dualities. You love your choices. Or if you don't love dualities, you are somebody that's very duplicitous. You are very balanced as well for some of you guys. Spiritually balanced. Some of you, you are a reasonable person. People view you as somebody reasonable. You will give a person, if you're around somebody toxic, or if you're around somebody who is just not the best for you you will give them chances to get this right whether it's like you're in a love relationship with them or you're married to them you will give them time if they don't get it right you'll release them you'll move on you'll make the decision to move on you'll let go of them yeah and then it has rejection so some of you feel rejected you feel abandoned you feel like people just walk away from you. Some of you walk around like, um, I know a lot don't want to hear this, but some of you walk around and play victim, and this is how people view you. Some of you have ir irrational fears, so you uh, live your life in fear. Like, if you want to do certain things, say, for instance, you want to let go of a relationship that you know is no good for you. Some of you won't let it go because you're scared. You're scared of the unknown. You're scared of letting go. You have these irrational fears. And this goes for the ones who really don't feel too good about them on the inside. I'm going to get off of that. Now, the next energy that's out here is un unseen. It says, love can blind you. Ensure you're not overlooking red flags. So, this is bleeding in that some of you guys 
don't pay attention to the red flags. Or some of you pay attention to the red flags. You just give people a chance to right their wrong, thinking that they are mature and stuff like that. But some of these people are very immature and codependent, so you can't do this with people. Some of you um, like to... Um, hold on, damn it. Why have this eluded me? Some of you like to dress up and... Um, I can't think. Hold on, hold on. Masquerade balls. This is what it is. Because if I'd have just let it keep running, my brain would have took forever to pull that out. I couldn't get it. Some of y'all like to go to masquerade balls. You like to dress up masquerade. Halloween is coming up. Some of you, you probably dress up as that. I find that very sexy personally. See, the, I find that very sexy. I love it. Some of you um come across as very mysterious, romantic, very loving very alluring and you have this sexual energy about you so it's like the total opposite some don't feel too good some just embrace who they are some people view you as a siren i love the energy coming off this card it says unseen the one that was overlooking the red flags but i'm come off of that energy because it's like really building <laughs> you have boundaries here so it says love may challenge your boundaries protect them some of you don't have boundaries when it comes to your relationship. Some of you disregard the red flags. And just, you know, some of you like to be on your demon time. You know, for the, you, you're not known for that. Some of you are known for that. Being that I said that. But some of you, um, people view you as that. That this is people who have been with you sexually. You could turn on the heat sexually for them. You could set the mood for them. And it's least expected. Side note, and I'm going to get off of this. For people who have been with you sexually, they like the way you, um, you, your decorum is in your house, how you dress up your house. Some of you could be Libras, very Venusian. And they like your bed. Your bed is soft and nice. You're very girly too. People view you as somebody that's very girly. Yeah, I'm going to come off of that. Now, with this um, despair... This is where the um, reading cut off. When I was look, when I looked up the reading cut off for your reading, I was on this. So with 32, 32 is five, and five is all about changes. So you're somebody that change a lot. You are somebody that people view you as people who try to bring conflict to you because they don't like you. They they jealous of you or they are haters when it comes to you. With this despair, some people who can't get in a relationship with you try to make you their enemy because they be ego tricking ego and power tripping they like to bring chaos to your life if they lost you in particular when people lose you it's a big deal because as i'm holding this i never realized how heavy this little lapis lazuli are i mean lapis lazuli is some of you have royal lineage some of you have um egyptian lineage but yeah this is pretty heavy i never realized that this is pretty hefty you leave burdens on people when they do you wrong. Now, if you owe up, own a business, people see that they view that you are in despair with your business. Some of you are viewed as somebody who can't catch a break. You can't find a job. Somebody view you as well as somebody that's a good, um, uh, a good friend. You will be there for people. If, if you, their friend, you will be there for them through they thick and through they thins. Now, over here, you have leap and decisions. Some of you, people view you as it's, a hard, it's hard for you to make decisions. It's hard for you to take a leap of faith on yourself. It's like you are full energy in reverse, which is means some of you could come across naive and you get stuck in your head. You don't know how to pivot, like how I had to pivot when the, the reading just went awry, whoever went to the intro and seen that, what I was saying. Some of you, it's hard time for you to pivot. You get, you stuck hold on to things you like dig your feet deep into the dirt some of you could be earth signs taurus in particular some of you are codependent take what apply and leave the rest again now some of you have a decision to make you have a decision to stay or leave and people see this people close to you see this they see you trapped between two things you have two paths to make and you contemplate in a path that you need to make and it's bringing you despair for some of you I am hungry. My food is in the oven and I have tea on the stove. I'm about to go get it. It says, um, 
hard to get, but it's in reverse. So it says you are missing opportunities by playing too hard to get. Give someone a chance. So, so the energy that's here, it's like some of you resonate with that. Some of you don't because some of you are open. You could release things. You move on. You know how to pivot and stuff like that. That's for a very small percentage of you, though. Most of you guys, it's like you are not opening up. You're missing opportunities. You're playing too hard to get. And that goes back to look at people for their inner beauty and personality, not what you see visually. Some of you are, um, people view you as a person that only want to get into things the way you benefit from it. It's like you are opportunist. And you missing real opportunities. And being that you are opportunist, you are opportunist that is kind of like in a negative because you are missing good opportunities, a.k.a. this despair. In the back of the sign, it says not hiring. So some of you are like, yeah, people view you as like toxic. And in Power 1, when I started out with Power 1, the first card out was toxicity. So not to bring Power 1 into this, but it kind of did go, even though this is a new reading. So hold on for a second. Okay, I'm going to use your deck and clarify this a little bit, and then I'm going off the power tool. Clarify this despair. Clarify this despair. How do people view power one? No, power two. Shit. Some of you need help with money. You need money. And you caught up in your head of where to go. People view you as somebody that need help with money. You need somebody to look out for you. But you caught in your head. You trapped in your head. And this goes to this. You have um, a decision to make. Hold on, let's see what is this. Why is this decision, despair, and this two of swords here with this six of pentacles? Why is this here? Three of pentacles. Some teamwork. People view you as working with people. Whoever you work with. This didn't work out for you at the end of the day. I'm going to get an actual. Let me see. What is this two of swords, six of pentacles, three of pentacles, and this despair? Why is this here? Messages and dreams in reverse. Healing, inner child, celebration and gifts. Some of you have attachment wounds, unmet needs. Some of you, people that you celebrate with, with these three pinnacles, somebody who you conspire with. Something here has left you in despair. What was clarified as three of pentacles, this despair? A Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Some of you need a new job because it's the ace of, um, the ace of swords, not the ace of swords, the ace of wands. So some of you are feeling vulnerable and you guard it. This has to do with somebody you were in a relationship with for some of you. It's like, that this is a, a card all about desires, attractions. Somebody is guarded. You have a decision you want to go to. Two people leave some, stay or leave. Leave somebody and go to this potential fire sign or somebody that's fiery. Why is this dreams in reverse? This message is, says spring, seeds, plant idea, new ideas. This is about ideas, planting ideas, seven of pentacles. So you went from six of pentacles to seven of pentacles. Somebody want to be with somebody. Somebody needs money. Somebody needs help. The person who could help them, they, they can't go to them. It's like they, they don't want to go. Why is this two of swords here? And despair. Clarify this. What time is it? Shit, it's 19 minutes in. I'm about to go. This card came out on power one, but it came in an upright. Action, courage to take a new beginning. Somebody's stuck in the past. Your past... People view you as your past holding you back. So I can't really dig into that too much more because I got to go to power three and then to power one. So till next time in Tower Land, if you've gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. Till next time. Power number three. This is your deck. If you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. 
Hopefully you could get some info, gossip, or entertainment from this reading. Whatever you're looking for, hopefully you get it. Shout out to my subscribers knowing all what's popping with you. I appreciate you guys for coming through, supporting the channel, watching the videos, holding the vibes. Visitors, returning visitors, welcome and welcome back. Today's title is How Do People View You? Now, if you want to know why this is mishap the way I have it on a timestamp, go to the intro. You'll see what happened. You definitely have messages in pal number two. You always have messages in other pals. You, your energy just always pop up in other pals. Shout out to people who've been to multiple pals. Now, how do people view you? There's a lot of information, so I'm going to be talking fast, so hopefully you can keep up. First card out is hiding feelings. So people feel like you're not open with your feelings. You like to hide your feelings. You're kind of mysterious when it comes to your romantic life. People want to know about your romantic life, but they don't know about it because you hide it. It says need to express how you feel to the one you love to see how they feel in return. So you're not open with your love. Some of you, people view you as somebody who always have problems in your relationships because you don't open up. You are very immature when it comes to romance. And, yeah. You have feel unloved. I was going to say more, but I'm not going to keep going on. Some of you feel unloved. It says you deserve someone who can support you emotionally and love you fully. And, full, and love you fully. So some of you feel unloved and you don't feel like you deserve love. Or the love that you always seem to get is karmic love. Or love that leave you out. People who don't pay attention to you. It's just like you left by yourself. They don't take you on dates. They don't romanticize you. They don't bring romance. It's just like they just there. It's like you with your best friend. It's like you cohabitating with your best friend. Not somebody that you are really in a relationship with. Or in love with. People view you as some. Some people view you as smart as well. You're very studious. You have a lot of knowledge. Some of you like to read a lot. It says fated to be alone. So it says you give up on love because you think you are meant to be alone. It's not true. So some of you are very damaged from relationships, from your past or the ones you are in now. Or you are damaged in general from your childhood. And you think that you are fated to be loved because people who love you or people who you love come in your life and don't love you. Or people who you have loved in the past have always hurt you. But I ain't here to tell you that that's not true. You're not fated to be by yourself. Everybody has a partner out there. Are you willing to do the work to be with them? Or are you opening to be with them? It says soulmate only. So some people view you as um, like you are soulmate. You're a soulmate of theirs. They have a connection with you. They can learn from you. You always teach them things. It says you have many soulmates who would be great for you. There's not just one. So, yeah, some of you are very spiritual. For um, people who are like light workers and star seeds and stuff like that, um, you guys have a lot of soulmates. So, people will see you and just feel like you are their soulmate. You are their soulmate, but that doesn't mean that you are their soulmate to be in that romantic relationship with them. It could be somebody that's a friend. It could be your family because your family could be a soulmate as well. People view you as somebody with trust issues. It's like you guard your heart. It says you guard your heart. Not everyone deserves your trust. So you have opened up to people in the past that you shouldn't have opened up to. Now you don't trust love. You're scared of love. You see love as something that is too good to be true. It's like you jaded when it comes to love. This card came out in pile number two, boundaries. So it's like, um, I'm not going to hop into that too much. But yes, yeah, good messages over there. And it's for people who have been in a relationship with a person. So it says love may challenge your boundaries, protect them. You're somebody that's very protecting of your love now, it seems. But some of you are jaded and you've been so hurt. You have boundaries on top of boundaries on top of Fort Knox with 10,000 keys and volts on it. It's like, I don't know. Somebody's going through heartbreak right now. It says heartbreak is a part of human experience. It will pass. So some of y'all get heartbroken and then you tie your heart up. It's like you close your heart off and you think that like nobody's there to love you. But again, that's not true. And people view like this. So it's obvious people who want to be with you that view you this way. People view you as somebody that's romantic. For some of you, you know how to be very romantic. You know how to be very charming. You know how to rest in your feminine energy. Some people view you as graceful, very charming, very 
feminine and delicate. You know how to dress um, in a feminine way, a very nice girly feminine way. People like your hair as well. They view you a very um, stylish. It says romantic surprises are on a horizon. Be open to them. So whoever is going through heartbreak and, and, and trauma right now from previous heartbreaks, it'll be, it will behoove you to heal this because love is on the um, on a horizon from you, for you. The universe is going to bring it to you in divine time and probably serendipity when you meet them. People view you as a divine feminine. And I just said that you're very graceful, you're very abundant, you're very loving, you're very fertile. Anything you touch, it grows. They love your body as well. They view you as somebody with a nice body. They view you as somebody solid and grounded. Somebody they could build a family with. Somebody they would love to build a family with. They look at you as somebody that would be a good nurturer. No matter, um, I don't want to say no matter how old you are, but... Some of you are older and pregnant. That means your your body is still vital and, vil, and, and you have a lot of um, vitality in your body. And you're very strong. You're very abundant no matter if you're old or pregnant. People view you as somebody not ch chasing nobody. You're not going to chase nobody who's playing games with you no matter if it's your child's father or not. You know you're a divine feminine. You rest in your feminine energy and you're not chasing behind nobody. You have clinging in reverse and you have escaping in reverse. So some of you guys are not escaping this toxicity and others are you, you're, you're, you're letting go of the toxicity. So it goes both ways. And then you have karma. So karma is a cause and effect. So some of y'all are paying karmic debts right now. You're going through karma. You're being beat by karma. But it's the consequences of the energy that you have put out already. Clarify this karma, how people view pal three. Ugh. Let me just this one, that one. Eight of Pentacles, the lovers, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're getting beat by karma for people that you had a relationship with. Somebody that you built a home with or somebody you act like you want to build a home with, a.k.a. the lovers. The lovers is a love relationship and the choices you made with this love relationship. And the Eight of Pentacles is working on it, acting like you're working on it, trying to perfect it. But you left the person home. This is two cards stating how... People view you as leaving your partner home. And now you're getting karma for this. You're being beat by this. Clarify this lovers. and the Justice. I'm going to leave you at that. It's justice. And I just said it's a cause and effect. You got to pay for this. So people view you as paying for how you behave in your relationships. Eight of cups. People walk away from you. People not building nothing with you. People feel like they can help you. Or that you somebody they could build with, but then they just realize you're a pig in a cup. And they walk away from you. They take control of the situation, the chariot. And I like to say, call it a dog and take control of the situation and move, the, move on victorious. So this is how people view you. So if you have gotten something from this, like it or subscribe. But before I go, you have one more. Sex only. So it says sex only. Either you or your partner only wants sex. Accept that. Accept that it's okay or reach for more, a.k.a. leaving them home by themselves. Leaving them home by themselves. And now you got to pay for that. So, like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm going to Power One. You hear this song? This been on all along. But this is Amy Winehouse song. And what just caught me is like you knew that I was trouble. You knew that I was no good. You hear it? That I'm no good. So that's how people view you. Till next time in Terrorland. Okay, pile one, if this is your deck, that means your card, this is your deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well with you, and when you see this reading, hopefully it's useful to you. Whether you're looking at it for gossip, clarifications, or, you know, whatever you're looking for, for or watching it for, hopefully you get it. Go to the intro. You will see why the first time in history of me doing this channel for, I don't know, like two years now. You have finally become number three. So, this is a short reading. You definitely have messages in pal number three. I've never said this. It sounds weird saying this. It's like, pal number three is always last, and then pal number one is always first. But, yeah, things happen. Go to the intro if you want to know what happened. But today's title is, How Do People View You? So, take what apply. Leave the rest. 
And shout out to my subscribers new old for coming through holding the vibes, building the channel. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, how people view you, excuses would not stay in the deck. It just wanted to be seen. So, people view you as somebody who has excuses. You always making excuses for things. You play the victim. It seems like for some of you guys, not all of you. It says you have so many reasons that it never work out. Find reasons that it can work. So some of you um, have a commitment issue. People view you as somebody who have a commitment issue. Things are never too uh, too. Things are never good enough for you. Some of you like to wear plaid shirts. This read it. This um card came out in your original reading, but I had to do it all over again. It says hard to get, but this is in reverse. So it says you're missing opportunities by playing too hard to get. Give someone a chance, but it's in reverse. So people view you as a person that will date any and everybody. You don't have no type of boundaries. Some of you are polyamorous. Some of you are into the same sex. It's like you have no boundaries. You would just date anybody. Now take that for what it is. Now, karma came out in pound number three. So, you guys are paying karma for this. You're getting beat by karma for this. And you're trying to have hope and... and it says hope in here. So people view you as trying to have hope and trying to have faith and trying to manifest your way out of this situation for whoever is resonating with this. For people who just like out there, caution to the wind, just throwing caution to the wind. Or people for the community that, you know, just would be with anybody. So people just think you with anybody. I'm going I'm to get off of that. Um, some of you are going through karma behind this, and it's a cause and effect because you won't listen to your intuition. You won't listen to guidance. You you just keep like, oh, shit, I forgot these two cards, and this is important because, look, it says rejection and rejection. So it's a lot of rejection that you're doing here. Some of y'all don't want to change. Some of y'all are stuck in your karmic ways, and y'all don't want to change. It says build your confidence by dating a lot and find out what people like about you. So some of you are... Um, dating people, you're dating a lot of people, but you're not really finding anything out about them. It's like you're you're using people, you're getting what you want out of it, and you're not getting any experience that's going to help you move forward in a real relationship. Over here it says abandon, dismiss, and irrational fears. So a lot of you guys feel like some is you feel rejected, you feel abandoned, you have irrational fears, and this leads you into down paths that you don't need to be going down. Um, Again, I'm going to come out of that. It says, for the romance, it says surprise. Romantic surprises are on the horizons. Be open to them. So for some of you guys, real romance is there for you. So you need to be healing these wounds that you have with not wanting to commit and 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 just going after people for things that are just for you. It's not for the betterment of both people because you're going to keep getting beat by karma. And then you have closure. It says not all connections are meant to be a set closure. So people in the past, you need to walk away from. You need to focus on the future. Like and or subscribe if you got something from this. Go to pile number three. Till next time in Tarotland.